Hey guys, today we're going to show you how we park and how we set up our tiny house. First step, we level our house left to right. For that we use those Anderson levelers that you see right there. They're really easy to use, you just roll onto them and that gets you your level from left to right. We can get up to 4 inches of lift on one side. If we need to go any higher, we have a piece of treated 2x6 that we slide under our wheels. Once the house is level, we put chocks on the back side of the tire so that it doesn't go anywhere. Step two, we unhitch the house. For that, we need to lift our tongue so that we can loosen our weight distribution system. It's also made by Anderson Hitches and it's been a lifesaver for us on the road. Right here you can see me disconnect the trailer brake system. This applies the brakes and the house stays put. After that, I remove the safety chains. I lift the tongue jack in order to loosen the chain from the weight distribution system. That allows me to get a little bit of slack so I can remove this bottom plate here. In this case, one of the chains was pretty tight, so I just loosened the nut at the end. That released the chain and it's easier to take that plate off. Now I'm lowering the tongue so I can unlock the receiver. All I need to do now is lift the tongue to release the ball. It helps to release the parking brake too. The first time that happened, that freaked us out, but now we're pretty much used to it. Once the 7 pin connector is unplugged, the truck is free to go. We don't keep the ball on the truck because it'll probably bust someone's knee, so we take it off and just store it somewhere. Step 3, we lever our house front to back. We do that with the tongue jack because it's rated to lift a lot more weight than the corner jacks that are welded onto our trailer. Okay. Yeah. Once the house is level, we stabilize it with the corner jacks. The drill makes it a lot easier and quicker for us. Now that the house is stable, I put the brake switch back in. This prevents the brakes from draining the battery. Here I'm attaching our 15 gallon gray water tank. When off grid, we dispose of our gray water responsibly. All of our products are 100% biodegradable. In RV parks, we usually can connect directly to their sewer system. And thanks to our nature's head composting toilet, we don't even have to deal with black water. Here Jenna is connecting our electricity to the grid. In this particular case, we plugged into one of our host's outdoors outlets. When we're off grid, we use our Goal Zero solar generator. For water, we use a 50 foot long potable water hose. It's designed specifically to have drinking water go through it. In this scenario, we're connecting to the grid. That means that we're using the water pressure from the house that we're connected to and we're bypassing our water pump. We put a pressure regulator and a valve at the end of the hose for more control. On the other end of the hose, we have a water filter. If we were off-grid, we would use our gravity-fed inlet to fill our water tank. It's a 46-gallon water tank. In this case, the pressure comes from the water pump. We then store all of our random items in the basement of our tiny house. We put a lock on our receiver to prevent the house from leaving without our permission. We built shutters for the front of our house to protect our windows from rocks. So when we arrive somewhere, we just simply open them. There are a few items on the inside of our house that we need to set up. But the first thing we do is get some light in. We store all of our pots and pans in the sink when we travel. We just don't trust them to stay on those hooks. 
Our shower head also tends to fall, so we put it down when we move around. Boom. We use bungee cords and hooks and knives to secure some of the moving parts of our house. And lastly, we just set up our lounge. The whole process takes us less than 30 minutes, and when we're ready to leave, we just reverse the steps. And that's it. Now we're just going to kick back and relax. I hope you've enjoyed this video.